So Patrick Mahomes back in the Super Bowl. Uh, I, I think for this video, what I'm really going to do is more so just talk about what Mahomes is bringing to the table and just just the positives of Patrick Mahomes being on your football team if you're a Kansas City Chiefs fan. We already know a lot of it, but I think there's some other th uh, things and I just figured I'd find some fun plays from that game and sort of talk about them and what he was able to do well. So like on this one, it's a cover two zone and, you know, so zone coverage, Mahomes is going to run play action. And then there's really a concept that can work out very well against this, where you have the receiver who's already lined up to Mahomes' left. Uh, that's Robinson. He's going to sort of run over to middle. And then Tyreek Hill, who's in motion, he's going to run out and he's going to try and get past the flat on that side of the field, sort of in that gap in coverage, uh, you know, past the flat, but before the deep safety. That's what he's trying to do. The reason this can work is you already have Robinson who could clear out a defensive back. You then have the play action which could push Tampa Bay players who are in charge of covering the middle of the field further in and on top of this uh, the safety who is deep in that area look at how far towards the middle of the field he is because they're disguising right here and it's you know uh, it's going to work out well for Kansas City who doesn't mind this disguise and so Mahomes takes this snap uh, it actually looked like both Robinson and Hill got like wide open on this play so there's that but really what I, I want to mainly look at is you can tell Hill's about to get open right because he's currently pretty much aligned with Sean Murphy bunting right here but bunting is you know he hasn't even turned his back yet and Tyreek Hill is Tyreek Hill so he can outrun uh, anybody so he's good there but really I want to focus on Mahomes obviously that's what this video is on Mahomes and his greatness and you see Mahomes, he's currently sort of uh, faking the handoff, but he's kind of getting into the throwing motion as he's faking this handoff, which is interesting. It almost makes me feel like that's something you could read in real time, but it's, it's probably just really difficult to see exactly when he's doing that. Because, you know, I know like someone like Peyton Manning always talked about like he would take a video camera and just record himself when he ran play actions and then when he actually... Uh, you know, uh, handed the ball off in practice and then would watch it and see if he could find any slight difference between the two to make sure there wasn't any. Uh, but again, this is very slight, so I don't think there's anything you can really see. And also, what it's going to do is it's going to allow him to have a quick release and get rid of this football. And watch how he throws it. It's like just this sidearm thing. So he gets rid of the ball in one second and it's, you know, perfectly accurate towards Tyreek Hill, who picks up a ton of yards. So that's just a, just one of those wonky things that only Mahomes does. I also now want to shift to this play. So a lot of people were talking about Tyreek Hill after this game. And of course, it makes sense. 200 yards in one quarter. Incredible. But, you know, Mahomes had a key part in that as well. I know we're at the point where we're used to him being able to make these 40-yard bombs with complete perfect accuracy with ease you know, and we're just sort of used to it, but that's not normal, but watch what he's going to do. We'll start off with this one. It's a cover one play. Hill is on an island one-on-one -on -one against Carlton Davis, which is a good situation, and I think the narrative kind of was Hill just completely burned Davis, and that's not totally untrue, but definitely part of it too was Mahomes just completely can take advantage of even small windows. So watch. I mean, Hill's going to run by Davis. Davis is in a situation now where there isn't a ton of separation. Now, the the flip side is that Davis has to turn his head, which now means Hill can look at the ball where Mahomes can't. But if this is underthrown, uh, if this is you know overthrown, there's not a huge window for this throw to be made. There is a window, but it's not like this is a giant window. But watch the perfect accuracy on that throw, where if that's anywhere else, I don't know if that's a completion. And, you know, uh, that one was probably one of Davis's better moments, and it still results in this huge completion just because of how good, A, how good Tyree Kill is of being able to make that grab, for sure, but also, B, uh, just a great throw from Mahomes, and their pairing is just, it's its unfair, it really is. This one's another one where it's going to be a, a somewhat similar idea, a little bit different though, so this time it's going to be a cover three zone, but the reason why it's somewhat similar is as Hill runs deep, he's going to be going up one-on-one -on -one against Carlton Davis, so, you know, same sort of one-on-one -on -one matchup. But what's really interesting is how this is going to work. So watch, you're going to see that Mahomes takes the snap and Davis kind of runs in a little bit when he sees that Hill is, you know, sort of faking as though he's running an out route. And that's what you really probably should do if you're this corner. I mean, yeah, you don't want to let anyone get beat deep, but at the same time, you can run in a little bit. And even if Hill then starts going deep, well, then you just run further deep. And what? It's not like Mahomes is going to throw the ball 60 yards down the field or anything. 
Well, once the ball is snapped, uh, Mahomes does fire it from inside his own 20. And you kind of see Davis. It almost just looks like him. He's going to eventually start putting his head up. And it seems like he's just waiting for the ball to come to him. And I think he sort of sees like Hill's far away from me. But look at how far down the field we are. I just got to run over and, you know, uh, he's running too far. I'm going to get the interception probably. But as you see, this ball just keeps carrying him and it does go uh, I believe that was about 58 59 yards down the field uh, if you're talking from wh where Mahomes threw it to where it ended up just absolutely absurd and it's it you can blame Davis if you want but that just kind of just goes to show that no matter how much you watch and practice no matter how much film you see uh, you're just not ready for Mahomes until you play against him the hope may be for Tampa Bay that like hey, uh, at least now you know you found out the hard way, so next time you could be a little bit more prepared. And I think they might be a bit more prepared, but it's still, it's one thing to be prepared for that. It's another thing to still defend a guy 60 yards down the field who can run faster than you. That's just tough. We'll show one more Mahomes to Hill connection, because again, a lot of these are Hill highlights, but they're also Mahomes highlights. Usually they kind of go together. Uh, it's again that same thing, one-on-one -on -one matchup, Davis to Hill. And again, it's not necessarily going to be Hill is just getting, you know, burning Davis and getting wide open. Watch, once Mahomes takes this snap, again, Hill is able to get Davis to turn his head so Davis can't make a play on the ball. But, uh, you know, Hill can do that to literally every corner. And really what it comes down to is just Mahomes was just on as well. It was it was both. And Hill got all the credit, but Mahomes deserves just as much for what you're going to see here. I mean, that throw looks like, uh, like, how does that even happen? It looks like some video game uh, type thing where how in the world do you make a throw that accurate? Well, it's Patrick Mahomes. That's how. He does things that are other humans can't. And then one more play. Let's talk about the quarterback option. Why not? I mean, listen, do you think that the Chiefs are probably going to be more careful with, you know, having designed running plays to Mahomes uh, after he's gotten hurt from that multiple times now, where one was a quarterback sneak, the other was an option play against Cleveland. Do I think that they'll probably be more cautious eventually? Yes. Do I think they will, they will be more cautious during the Super Bowl? No. I think that you play like there's no tomorrow. Uh, if Mahomes takes a hit or two, you're going to take that risk to try and win a Super Bowl. And I think Mahomes would take that risk to try and win a Super Bowl. So this is going to be uh, an option play to the left side of the screen, which is the defense is left, the offense is right. Mahomes is going to take the snap. He's going to roll out uh, to the right of his tackle, who the tackle's job is to, you know, uh, help finish off a double team with Jason Pierre-Paul, and or excuse me, uh, the tight end's job is to finish off the double team and then run out to block uh, Devin White, and then Mahomes just runs to the outside of the tight end. That's how it works. Tampa Bay has a safety in that area, so he's someone you also do have to uh, watch out for, but what you do is you take away him with the option. If the safety runs towards Mahomes and tries to make a tackle, you pitch it back to your halfback. But if the safety then runs over and tries to take away the pitch, well, then obviously Mahomes, you just run it yourself. That's how it works. But there's going to be one key thing here. Right there, I've circled 45. That's Devin White. And one of the issues with a play like this is that for you know, an offensive line, you have to be able to make all your blocks. And you would think that Tampa Bay, hey, they have a good defensive line, gr you know, great two linebackers, uh, and even a, a third linebacker is pretty good in Kevin Minter, but usually they, they just play two. And this is the team that can absolutely, two middle linebackers, and this is a team that can absolutely win their one-on-one -on -one matchups, which could be an issue. Like, watch, I mean, Devin White, he's going to get around this block, and now you think that this is a good situation because, you know, uh, safety can just take away the back, and now Devin White can tackle uh, Patrick Mahomes. Great situation for Tampa Bay, but there's one issue. You see Devin White's kind of gotten a bit too far uh, wide, well, Mahomes is going to be, you know, do what he can do, which is be really good at the quarterback option. He's great at these plays. He fakes out White a little bit, com really completely faked out White, and is able to pick up a big gain on that. And that could be some a way they could pick up some yards on like a fourth down and two is Mahomes. So even if the play were to break down, you have 15 who is great in every situation. And that's what you're going up against for Tampa Bay. But yeah, uh, it should be awesome. Should be a fun game. Two awesome quarterbacks. That's what I think. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.